you seeing defensively out there that just needs to be fixed the most today? I think a little bit of communication. Um, you know, from a goalie's perspective, you just kind of want to talk and call things out. And, you know, I try and do that the best of my ability. I think sometimes, you know, guys get focused on the game and the puck. And I think sometimes just helping each other sort things out and just calling who you got just makes people kind of open up their eyes and, and see a little bit more. But, um, you know, there's no lack of effort. We're working. It's just, uh, you know, we're a step behind or a step too early and bounces are bounces. And that's the game of hockey. So, you know, you work for your own luck. And, in the last two games, they've had some chances, other teams, and they've they've capitalized, and we just got to make sure we don't give them those chances. Ben didn't say lack of effort, but he mentioned the team and being desperate. So it yeah, kind of goes hand in hand there. Yeah. But what, what, what do you see? I mean, I, you guys are trying, yeah, but he, I just feel like you should be a little bit harder at this point. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to work yourself into a hole either. I mean, you got to play 60 minutes, and you got to play it smart. But, you know, you want to work smart, not overly work hard. But, um, you know, you don't want to take away the compete or the, you know, desperation on plays or, or how you read it. You know, everyone's got their own skills out there, and they're in this league for a reason. You know, there's no lack of talent. But, um, you know, the game's going to come at us. You know, we're only five in here, so it's not uh, the end of the world. But, obviously, you know, when you, when you give up some goals over two games, you want to step back and look at what we could do better and you know you ask any guy in the room they, they think they can do better and that's you know what, what it comes down to guys want to will their will to, to obviously improve and, and understand systems and what their partners are going to do and you know we got a good team and a good group of guys so I'm not worried about it turning around it's just uh, you know hopefully sooner than later. You mentioned communication being a key especially on the, on the back end for somebody like you between the pipes how important it is for you to kind of be vocal and you know, help maybe the, the defense kind of figure some things out. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're all still relatively new to each other, and the way guys play the game is, you know, I've, that was my third time in the net behind these guys. So it's um, it's going to take you know a little bit of time to, to understand what I'm saying, who, what my voice sounds like, and things like that. But uh, you know, I think it's just a, it's a sort of thing. The more you talk, the more everyone knows where you are, who you got, um, situationally, you know, where they see. You. Somebody might be taking a step back door, and it just, you know, as soon as you, you get a guy in the corner and you call back door, every D man turns his head and looks. And that's just something where it, it keeps them aware. It doesn't, sometimes it just, you know, it's body, uh, body language or habit to just kind of look at the puck. And a, a quick call from anybody, myself, you know, the centerman, whatever that is, it just makes guys kind of bring their, bring their attention back to other threats. And sometimes it's the guy away from the puck that's uh, a little more dangerous than the guy with the puck. So it just helps, and, you know, we'll get there. Everyone's new and some language barriers for a couple guys, but. That's just a learning curve we're going to have to get over. Ben mentioned you guys practicing well. Cam mentioned you guys practicing well. But it hasn't translated you know, the past couple of games on the ice. How do you guys take that what you guys are doing well on practice and you know, bring it out in the game? Well, I think it's, you know, there's things in practices that we're doing well. You know, we're battling our one-on-one -on -one battles, and you look out there, and, you know, no one really got beat back to the net tonight and in the D zone. There was no, you know, situations that, you know, in practice we might have done some great things, and that's – actually out there and it's and it's improved and that's you know what you want to see from practice i think as an overall picture you, you know you see six goals you see seven goals and that kind of makes people step back what are we doing wrong but i think when you break it down you know there's there's some bounces there's tips out there you know that there's power play goals and, and penalties and situations that just kind of make the game kind of get ahead of you or you're chasing it and there's so many ways that kind of happen but when you look at what we did all week and how hard guys are working and trying to understand a system and, and keep moving I think you know you, you step back and look at the little things that we're doing better and obviously the bigger picture will come but uh, you know focus on those little things and just keep you know moving forward as a team.